I did. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Well, hey guys, we're just about done with the garden. I've been filling up the the holes <laughs> essentially with with more wood chips, and we only have the squash, the squash, and the what melons. else? The melons to plant in our garden. So we're searching for a place right now to do that. We've still got beans to plant too. <laughs> That's pretty close to me and them for us though. Yeah. Alright, we've decided to put them over there. A certain way of saying it is. Spaghetti? Oh, that's what I say? Yeah. I always think it's Paschetti or Spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti squash. Cucumbers. <laughs> well, we've planted onions in this last row that we had reserved for for something climbing. Like we were deciding between beans, pole beans, or possibly cucumbers, but. We had to put the onions in the ground, so that's where they went, in the prepared spot. But I have tilled this area again. We're hoping that we that we killed off most of the, the grass, but it, it probably is not killed off because grass is never killed off entirely. But we think it's a good place to plant all these things, is squash and cucumbers and maybe melons if we have enough room. And if not, then we'll put them in some other place because tilling is really fun, <laughs> I've discovered. So this is our cucumbers that we started from seed back in March, and they're doing great. So we're excited about that. These are the best ones we've ever done. We hope to get a lot of pickles from this garden. Anyway, we want to have them grow up on a, like a trellis, I guess is what you call it. Yeah. And the trellis is gonna be at an angle so that we can plant some more shade, like spinach and things that don't usually like hot summers. So that is an experiment. We've never done that before because we've never actually had very good success with cucumbers, like or ever. With any kind of squashy We've things. never had them get this big. So we're ahead of the game already. Hopefully that gives us some success. We will let you know. Yeah, guess we'll all find out together, won't we? <laughs> so when I grew, was growing up, we always planted cucumbers and squash and melons in a big open area and we allowed them to to spread out as much as they possibly can and just room to roam kind of. And uh, so we kind of started out that way too on this property. Uh, it seems to be the more common way that, that those type of vining things are grown. And uh, But then we saw some amazing photos online of people who had, well, it got to be thousands of photos probably that we had looked through, of people who had made these amazing arched walk-through areas, um, almost like a fairy fairy tale world, um, where pumpkins or or all the things that I already mentioned were hanging down, where you could just reach up and pick them, almost like from a tree. So we've changed the way that we think of those type of plants, and we want to save space a little bit. Not that we totally need to, but, but we like the idea of being a little bit We're different that way. Grass. Yeah, it's true. We have a lot of grass to contend with on this property, and so this is one way that we can probably beat the grass. Beat the grass. Should we plant them first and then uh, then install the, the wiring or the panels or whatever we decide? Yeah. Just get them in the ground today? Yeah, because, I mean... So we, we've got a panel over there, we can steal the soybeans don't climb. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to do that. We've got those cattle oh, panels over there that we've never never used at all. What? Oh, oh that. Panel right there we can, all right. I mean, at the very least, we could at least get them to crawl up. And then once there, we can start getting other panels to go arched. Oh, okay. Or, I don't know, we don't even have to arch it. Maybe we could just make a big wall. six foot or eight foot tall wall. That'd be great. That'd be really cool. <laughs> 
How are we doing that? We don't know. We'll decide that later. <laughs> we don't like following rules. We rebels. We, we read the rules and then we figure out how we can deal with them. They're more like guidelines anyway. And so, yeah, that's pretty much how we roll with everything. It's more fun that way. <laughs> yeah. It's like a scientist who always has to ask why. That's kind of how we are with like everything. People live in certain kind of houses. Why? Why can't you make it out of concrete? You always grow vegetables this way. Why? Why can't you grow them a different way? I don't know. Yeah, we're just experimenting. Some things work really well, the tried and true method, and some things are really open for interpretation or experimentation. I think everything's open for experimentation. And then sometimes you find out that there was, you're back to square one and that's, yeah. that, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. So sometimes you prove the other people right and that's just fine. <laughs>